this project's a tower project. It consists of two parts. The first part is the porte cachet which is the lower level of the tower. We're, we're widening it and enlarging it so that the buses can get underneath the cover to be able to pick you out of, out of the weather and then also create a grand entrance, more of a boutique hotel style. So the rooftop terrace, we're gonna be replacing all the handrails and the storefront, going from a half high size storefront that you have now to a full length floor to ceiling storefront. We're also gonna increase the ceiling heights to a higher ceiling so that you have broader vista views, daylight, sunlight coming in and out, and be able to see the, the city. My name is Tom Henning, project manager for Westminster Canterbury, running the tower project. This week, we're gonna be starting on the demolition. And behind me, you see some folks working on doing the hoist erection. What has to happen is they have to demo some of the building to be able to get the connections for the bracing of the hoistway to the structure of our building. And that's very important. That's gonna be our way to get the workers from down here at the ground level up to the roof level without using the elevators inside the building. Now that we're doing some demolition of the Porta Cache area, which that has to be hand demolition initially because if we use heavy equipment, it will hurt the existing building attached to it. So you'll notice the workers are up there uh, sawing and cutting pieces and parts off, dropping them to the floor below, and then they're separating the metal out to be able to be recycled. Yeah, they put down the motor and the travel cab that that's what they use to get the people up to the rooftop. And that system sits on the ground and then it's supported by the structure that you see there on, on top of the flatbed there, and that structure is actually built like an erector set along the side of the building and then actually connected to the building where you see the cutouts of the masonry wall. So the mason was cut out to where they can tie into the actual structure of the building, and then the scaffolding's there for inspections. And they got to make sure it clears any projections whatsoever, and has a clear plumb travel path, so it can't be sloped any direction. It has to be perfectly plumb and level so that everything travels safely, just like an elevator. They have a bobcat now where they, after they've separated by hand the building itself from the structure, then they're able to use heavier equipment to rip down the rest of the structure. So if you see now, they got the heavier structure that today they're gonna to start using cutting torches and some other items to, to seriously cut the steel and break it up into sizes they can put in a dumpster and take off site to a recycling facility. 